The Wheeler Feynman Absorber Theory, also called the Wheeler Feynman Time Symmetric Theory, named after its originators, the physicists Richard Feynman and John Archibald Wheeler, is an interpretation of electrodynamics derived from the assumption that the solutions of the electromagnetic field equations must be invariant under time reversal transformation, as are the field equations themselves. Indeed, there is no apparent reason for the time reversal symmetry breaking, which singles out a preferential time direction and thus makes a distinction between past and future. A time reversal invariant theory is more logical and elegant. Another key principle, resulting from this interpretation and reminiscent of Mach's principle due to tetrode, is that elementary particles are not self-interacting. This immediately removes the problem of self-energies. T-symmetry and causality The requirement of time reversal symmetry, in general, is difficult to conjugate with the principle of causality. Maxwell's equations and the equations for electromagnetic waves have, in general, two possible solutions, a retarded delayed solution and an advanced one. Accordingly, any charged particle generates waves, say at time t zero equals zero displaystyle T underscore zero equals zero and point X zero equals zero displaystyle X underscore zero equals zero which will arrive at point X one display style x underscore one at the instant t one equals x one c display style t underscore one equals x underscore one c here c Display style c is the speed of light after the emission, retarded solution, and other waves, which will arrive at the same place at the instant t two equals minus x one c. Display style t underscore two equals x underscore one c before the emission advanced solution. The latter, however, violates the causality principle. Advanced waves could be detected before their emission. Thus, the advanced solutions are usually discarded in the interpretation of electromagnetic waves. In the absorber theory, instead charged particles are considered as both emitters and absorbers, and the emission process is connected with the absorption process as follows, both the retarded waves from emitter to absorber and the advanced waves from absorber to emitter are considered. The sum of the two, however, results in causal waves, although the anti-causal advanced solutions are not discarded a priori. Feynman and Wheeler obtained this result in a very simple and elegant way. They considered all the charged particles emitters present in our universe and assumed all of them to generate time reversal symmetric waves. The resulting field is E tot x t equals n e n ret x t plus e n a d v 
x t 2 display style e underscore text tot math bf x t equals sum underscore n frac e underscore n caret text ret math bf x t plus e underscore n caret text adv math bf x t 2 then they observed that if the relation e free x t equals n e n ret x t minus e n a d v x t 2 equals 0 display style e underscore text free math bf x t equals sum underscore n frac e underscore n caret text ret math bf x t e underscore n caret text adv math bf x t 2 equals 0 holds then E free display style e underscore text free being a solution of the homogeneous Maxwell equation can be used to obtain the total field e tot x t equals n e N ret x t plus e n a d v x t two plus n e n ret x T minus E N A D V X T two equals N E N ret X T Display style e underscore text tot math bf x t equals sum underscore n frac e underscore n caret text ret math bf x t plus e underscore n caret text adv math bf x t two plus sum underscore n frac e underscore n caret text ret math bf x x t e underscore n caret text a d v math b f x t two equals sum underscore n e underscore n caret text ret math b f x t. The total field is retarded and causality is not violated. The assumption that the free field is identically zero is the core of the absorber idea. It means that the radiation emitted by each particle is completely absorbed by all other particles present in the universe. To better understand this point, it may be useful to consider how the absorption mechanism works in common materials. At the microscopic scale, it results from the sum of the incoming electromagnetic wave and the waves generated from the electrons of the material, which react to the external perturbation. If the incoming wave is absorbed, the result is a zero outgoing field. In the absorber theory the same concept is used, however, in presence of both retarded and advanced waves. The resulting wave appears to have a preferred time direction, because it respects causality. 
However, this is only an illusion. Indeed, it is always possible to reverse the time direction by simply exchanging the labels emitter and absorber. Thus, the apparently preferred time direction results from the arbitrary labeling. Topic: T symmetry and self interaction. One of the major results of the absorber theory is the elegant and clear interpretation of the electromagnetic radiation process. A charged particle that experiences acceleration is known to emit electromagnetic waves, i.e., to lose energy. Thus, the Newtonian equation for the particle F equals M a display style f equals ma must contain a dissipative force damping term which takes into account this energy loss in the causal interpretation of electromagnetism lorentz and abraham proposed that such a force later called abraham lorentz force is due to the retarded self interaction of the particle with its own field this first interpretation, however, is not completely satisfactory, as it leads to divergences in the theory and needs some assumptions on the structure of charge distribution of the particle. Dirac generalized the formula to make it relativistically invariant. While doing so, he also suggested a different interpretation. He showed that the damping term can be expressed in terms of a free field acting on the particle at its own position. E damping x j t equals E j ret x j t minus e j a d v x j t 2 Display style e caret text damping math bf x underscore j t equals frac e underscore j caret text ret math bf x underscore j t e underscore j caret text a d v math bf x underscore j t two However, Dirac did not propose any physical explanation of this interpretation. A clear and simple explanation can instead be obtained in the framework of absorber theory, starting from the simple idea that each particle does not interact with itself. This is actually the opposite of the first Abraham Lorentz proposal. The field acting on the particle J display style J at its own position the point X J display style X underscore J is then e tot X J T equals n does not equal J E N ret X J T plus E N A D V X J T two 
Display style e caret text tot math bf x underscore j t equals sum underscore n n e q j frac e underscore n caret text ret math bf x underscore j t plus e underscore n caret text a d v math bf x underscore j t two if we sum the free field term of this expression, we obtain E tot x j t equals n does not equal j e n ret x j T plus E N A D V X J T two plus N E N ret X J T minus E N A D V X J T two Display style E carrot text tot math BF x underscore J T equals sum underscore N N E Q J F R A C E underscore N carrot text ret math BF x underscore J T plus E underscore N carrot text A D V math BF x underscore J T two plus sum underscore N F R A C E underscore N carrot text ret math BF x underscore J T E underscore N carrot text A D V math BF x underscore J T two and thanks to Dirac's result E tot x J T equals N does not equal J E N ret X J T plus E damping X J T Display style E carrot text tot math BF x underscore J T equals sum underscore N N E Q J E underscore N carrot text ret math BF x underscore J T plus E carrot text damping math BF x underscore J T Thus, the damping force is obtained without the need for self-interaction, which is known to lead to divergences, and also giving a physical justification to the expression derived by Dirac. Topic: <coughs> Criticism. The abraham lorentz force is, however, not free of problems. Written in the non-relativistic limit, it gives E damping X J T equals E 6 pi C 3 D three D T three X 
Display style e caret text damping math bf x underscore j t equals frac e six pi c caret three frac mathrm d caret three mathrm d t caret three x since the third derivative with respect to the time also called the jerk or jolt enters in the equation of motion to derive a solution one needs not only the initial position and velocity of the particle but also its initial acceleration this apparent problem, however, can be solved in the absorber theory by observing that the equation of motion for the particle has to be solved together with the Maxwell equations for the field. In this case, instead of the initial acceleration, one only needs to specify the initial field and the boundary condition. This interpretation restores the coherence of the physical interpretation of the theory. Other difficulties may arise trying to solve the equation of motion for a charged particle in the presence of this damping force. It is commonly stated that the Maxwell equations are classical and cannot correctly account for microscopic phenomena, such as the behavior of a point-like particle, where quantum mechanical effects should appear. Nevertheless, with absorber theory, Wheeler and Feynman were able to create a coherent classical approach to the problem see also the paradoxes section in the abraham lorentz force also the time symmetric interpretation of the electromagnetic waves appears to be in contrast with the experimental evidence that time flows in a given direction and thus that the t symmetry is broken in our world it is commonly believed however that this symmetry breaking appears only in the thermodynamical limit see for example the arrow of time wheeler himself accepted that the expansion of the universe is not time symmetric in the thermodynamic limit this however does not imply that the t symmetry must be broken also at the microscopic level Finally, the main drawback of the theory turned out to be the result that particles are not self-interacting. Indeed, as demonstrated by Hans Bethe, the Lamb shift necessitated a self-energy term to be explained. Feynman and Bethe had an intense discussion over that issue, and eventually Feynman himself stated that self-interaction is needed to correctly account for this effect. Topic. Developments since original formulation Topic. Gravity theory Inspired by the matching nature of the Wheeler Feynman absorber theory for electrodynamics, Fred Hoyle and Jayant Narlikar proposed their own theory of gravity in the context of general relativity. This model still exists in spite of recent astronomical observations that have challenged the theory. Stephen Hawking had criticized the original hoyle narlikar theory believing that the advanced waves going off to infinity would lead to a divergence, as indeed they would, if the universe were only expanding. However, as emphasized in the revised version of the hoyle narlikar theory devoid of the creation field, generating matter out of empty space known as the gravitational absorber theory, the universe is also accelerating in that expansion. The acceleration leads to a horizon-type cutoff and hence no divergence. Gravitational absorber theory has been used to explain the mass fluctuations in the Woodward effect see section on Woodward effect below. Topic. Transactional interpretation of quantum mechanics 
Again inspired by the wheeler feynman absorber theory, the transactional interpretation of quantum mechanics TIQM, first proposed in 1986 by John G. Kramer, describes quantum interactions in terms of a standing wave formed by retarded forward in time and advanced backward in time waves. Kramer claims it avoids the philosophical problems with the Copenhagen interpretation and the role of the observer, and resolves various quantum paradoxes, such as quantum nonlocality, quantum entanglement and retrocausality. Xu <laughs> Yuan Chu's quantum theory in the presence of gravity In 1993, Chu developed a model of how to do quantum mechanics in the presence of gravity, which combines some of the latest ideas in particle physics, superstrings, and a time-symmetric Wheeler-Feynman description of gravity and inertia. In 1998 he extended this work to derive Einstein's equation for the adjunct gravitational field using concepts from statistics and maximizing the entropy. <laughs> Attempted resolution of causality T. C. Scott and R. A. Moore demonstrated that the apparent acausality suggested by the presence of advanced Leonard Weikert potentials could be removed by recasting the theory in terms of retarded potentials only, without the complications of the absorber idea. The Lagrangian describing a particle P 1 Display style p underscore one. Under the influence of the time symmetric potential generated by another particle, p two. Display style p underscore two is l one equals t one. Minus one two V R one two plus V A one two Display style L underscore one equals T underscore one FRAC one two left V underscore R underscore one carrot two plus V underscore O underscore one carrot two right where T I Display style T underscore I is the relativistic kinetic energy functional of particle p i display style p underscore i and v r i j display style v underscore r underscore i caret j and V A I J display style V underscore O underscore I carrot J are respectively the retarded and advanced Leonard weaker potentials acting on particle P I display style P underscore I and generated by particle p j display style p underscore j the corresponding lagrangian for particle p 2 display style p underscore 2 is l 2 equals T 
2 minus 1 2 v r 2 1 plus v a 2 1 Display style L underscore two equals T underscore two FRAC one two left V underscore R underscore two carrot one plus V underscore O underscore two carrot one right. It was originally demonstrated with computer algebra and then proven analytically that V R J I minus V A I J display style V underscore R underscore J carrot I V underscore O underscore I carrot J is a total time derivative, i.e. a divergence in the calculus of variations, and thus it gives no contribution to the Euler-Lagrange equations. Thanks to this result the advanced potentials can be eliminated, here the total derivative plays the same role as the free field. The Lagrangian for the n-body system is therefore L equals I equals one N T I minus one two I does not equal J N V R J I Display style L equals sum underscore I equals one carrot N T underscore I FRAC one two sum underscore I N E Q J carrot N V underscore R underscore J carrot I The resulting Lagrangian is symmetric under the exchange of P I Display style p underscore i with p j display style p underscore j for n equals two display style n equals two. This Lagrangian will generate exactly the same equations of motion of L one display style L underscore one and L two display style L underscore two. Therefore, from the point of view of an outside observer, everything is causal. This formulation reflects particle-particle symmetry with the variational principle applied to the n-particle system as a whole, and thus tetrodes matching principle. Only if we isolate the forces acting on a particular body do the advanced potentials make their appearance. This recasting of the problem comes at a price. The n body Lagrangian depends on all the time derivatives of the curves traced by all particles, i.e., the Lagrangian is infinite order. However, much progress was made in examining the unresolved issue of quantizing the theory. Also, this formulation recovers the Darwin Lagrangian, from which the Breit equation was originally derived, but without the dissipative terms. This ensures agreement with theory and experiment, up to but not including the Lamb shift. Numerical solutions for the classical problem were also found. Furthermore, Moore showed that a model by Feynman and Hibbs is amenable to the methods of higher than first-order Lagrangians and revealed chaotic-like solutions. 
Moore and Scott showed that the radiation reaction can be alternatively derived using the notion that, on average, the net dipole moment is zero for a collection of charged particles, thereby avoiding the complications of the absorber theory. An important bonus from their approach is the formulation of a total preserved canonical generalized momentum, as presented in a comprehensive review article in the light of quantum nonlocality. This apparent acausality may be viewed as merely apparent, and this entire problem goes away. An opposing view was held by Einstein. Topic. Alternative Lamb shift calculation As mentioned previously, a serious criticism against the absorber theory is that its matching assumption that point particles do not act on themselves does not allow infinite self-energies and consequently an explanation for the Lamb shift according to quantum electrodynamics QED. Ed Jaynes proposed an alternate model where the lamb-like shift is due instead to the interaction with other particles very much along the same notions of the Wheeler-Feynman absorber theory itself. One simple model is to calculate the motion of an oscillator coupled directly with many other oscillators. Jaynes has shown that it is easy to get both spontaneous emission and Lamb shift behavior in classical mechanics. Furthermore, Jaynes' alternatives provides a solution to the process of «addition and subtraction of infinities» associated with renormalization, this model leads to essentially the same type of beta logarithm an essential part of the Lamb shift calculation vindicating Jane's claim that two different physical models can be mathematically isomorphic to each other and therefore yield the same results, a point also apparently made by Scott and Moore on the issue of causality. Topic. Woodward effect The Woodward effect is a physical hypothesis about the possibility for a body to see its mass change when the energy density varies in time. Proposed in 1990 by James Woodward, the effect is based on a formulation of Max principle proposed in 1953 by Dennis Sayama. If confirmed experimentally, see timeline of results in the main article. The Woodward effect would open pathways in astronautics research, as it could be used to propel a spacecraft by propellantless propulsion, meaning that it would not have to expel matter to accelerate. As previously formulated by Sayama, Woodward suggests that the Wheeler Feynman absorber theory would be the correct way to understand the action of instantaneous inertial forces in Machin terms. <laughs> Conclusions This universal absorber theory is mentioned in the chapter titled, Monster Minds, in Feynman's autobiographical work Surely You're Joking, Mr. Feynman, and in Volume 2 of the Feynman Lectures on Physics. It led to the formulation of a framework of quantum mechanics using a Lagrangian and action as starting points, rather than a Hamiltonian, namely the formulation using Feynman path integrals, which proved useful in Feynman's earliest calculations in quantum electrodynamics and quantum field theory in general. Both retarded and advanced fields appear respectively as retarded and advanced propagators and also in the Feynman propagator and the Dyson propagator. 
In hindsight, the relationship between retarded and advanced potentials shown here is not so surprising in view of the fact that, in field theory, the advanced propagator can be obtained from the retarded propagator by exchanging the roles of field source and test particle usually within the kernel of a Green's function formalism. In field theory, advanced and retarded fields are simply viewed as mathematical solutions of Maxwell's equations whose combinations are decided by the boundary conditions. See also Causality Symmetry in physics and T-symmetry Transactional interpretation Abraham-Lorentz force Retrocausality Two-state vector formalism Paradox of a charge in a gravitational field Ni Guangzhong Notes Topic Sources Wheeler, J. A., Feynman, R. P. April nineteen forty five. Interaction with the absorber as the mechanism of radiation. PDF. Reviews of Modern Physics. Seventeen two to three one hundred fifty seven to one hundred eighty one. Bibcode, nineteen forty five RVMP point one seven one hundred fifty seven W Doi ten point one one zero three Revmode fees point one seven point one five seven Wheeler, J. A. Feynman, R. P. July nineteen forty nine Classical electrodynamics in terms of direct interparticle action. PDF. Reviews of Modern Physics. 21, 3, 425 to 433. Bibcode 1949 RVMP. Point two one four hundred twenty five W. Doi ten point one one zero three Revmode fees point two one point four two five